brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some venison sausage at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, what do we mean by venison sausage? This is white-tailed deer, some of the best eating you can get. Woo! And we're going to turn it into some sausage. So uh, it's all about the venison, and here we've got some nice cuts of venison, which we're going to grind up. So we're going to start by chopping up some onion. And here we've got some fresh jalapeno peppers. And we're going to uh, chop them up pretty fine, just like that. And we're going to grind up that venison using a grinder, right? It makes it real easy to do. This is going to be good, I'm telling you. Now, with the venison, because it's extremely lean, we're going to add some pork fat. Just like that. Now, you can go to our website, get the exact ingredients and the amounts. Uh, you definitely got to check it out. Get that fat in there and grind it in. You need the fat with the venison. Like I said, it's extremely lean. And I need some fat. Just like that. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. Now, we'll, uh, we'll mix this all together. So we're adding some uh, the pork fat. We just ground up to about four pounds of ground venison and mix it well. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is good enough to eat already. Trust me. All right. Now, to this, we're going to add about a half a cup of olive oil. About a tablespoon full of uh, ghost pepper flakes or red pepper flakes. And in goes some chopped jalapenos, tablespoon of cayenne pepper, couple of tablespoons of SPG, three tablespoons of uh, fennel seed, a cup of sharp shredded cheddar cheese, half a teaspoon of uh, allspice, one tablespoon of ground mustard, a tablespoon of smoked paprika, half cup of brown sugar, a half cup of red cherry wine, it's gonna be some cherry, three tablespoons of minced garlic, a half a cup of chopped onions, and we're gonna give it a mix. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> Now, for the sausage, we're going to be using a natural casing, obviously, right? And you can get this uh, pretty much anywhere. You can get it online. And here, the slasher is rinsing it, getting the salts or the preservatives out of it. And we'll be using a sausage stuffer, of course, to stuff it. Adding some oil. So we're going to load it up with that uh, fresh ground venison and mix. Just like that. Man. Load it up. This is for those who've never seen this before. Been doing this way for a uh, hundred years, right? Oh man. This ain't store-bought. Now we'll load that natural casing onto the um, funnel, tie off the bottom, and just start turning the crank. Now this is going to beat any kind of sausage you could get locally because you're doing it yourself with your ingredients, your flavoring, and it don't get any better than this. Now you can make up these, uh, this sausage and store it in the freezer for over the winter. As uh, often most hunters will do. 
They'll fill their freezers with some good, healthy, good eating. All right. And I'll just uh, pinch it off, tie it. Simple enough, right? Now, some of the best chefs in the world are hunters. They take their game meat, and they make something real special out of it. And look at that. One rope is done. Let's make another rope. A lot of times this is easier if you got a couple, uh, couple of guys working on it. All right. So we got a nice um, ring of sausage ready. And we'll just uh, stat it and spear it with a couple of uh, here we got stainless steel skewers. This will make it real easy to grill. Oh, 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 oh man, are you kidding me? Look at that. Oh. I say it's time to put it on the grill. All right, now, this will not take long to grill, right? You want to do it indirect. You don't want to cook it too fast, because you could blow apart that natural casing, right? And we've got a temperature of maybe uh, 300 degrees, 325, placing it indirect. All right, in a miracle of time, the sausages are coming along really well, you can see. Just move them around a bit, get some even cooking going on. Oh, man. We're eating good tonight, Martha, I'm telling you. You like sausage, where are you? Give us a call. All right, these sausages are done. So nothing left to do now, but um, get some rolls, freshen them up a bit. You can set these up any way you want, your favorite toppings, your favorite condiments. Look at that. Told you this was gonna be easy to do, right? Eh? Oh man. Load it up with some cheese. Cheese venison sausages. Are you kidding? Now uh, this is where they're gonna eat it in front of you. And that's called pitmaster privilege. You're gonna have to do this on your own. If you're lucky, you're a hunter, or you got some good friends who are. Now be sure to sub us or uh, follow us if you can. We appreciate your support. And the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com. <laughs>